You probably already know that carpet bombing all of your customers with a blanket message is not really an effective strategy. At some point, you have to segment them into like-minded groups so you understand what each group is likely to respond to or engage with. But the problem with user segmentation is that although everyone knows that segmentation is important and they know why it's important, no one really gets segmentation. I mean, it's not really an exact science, or is it? Most of the time we create user segments based on hunches, but how do you know what those segments should be? And how do you know when to revisit those segments and tweak them? And what about customers who don't fall into any of the segments you create? Do you just not engage them at all? This is where RFM analysis comes in. RFM is a model of segmentation that takes into account three variables, the recency, frequency, and monetary value of each user. Let's see how it works. The recency score for a user defines how recently did they purchase. The frequency tells you how frequently did they make purchases. And the monetary value tells you how much money did they spend. If you apply the Pareto principle to your customer base, you would notice that roughly 80% of your business comes from 20% of your customers. And RFM modeling helps you understand who those 20% customers are, and it also groups the remaining 80% into relevant segments, so you can target them better and convert them into higher value segments and increase the lifetime value of those customers as well. For example, let's take the recency score as app opens, which would also be the frequency score. And the monetary score would be based on successful orders. And we'll take into account the price of the orders to understand the monetary value. Now, when you plot the RFM analysis for all of your users, you get a chart that looks similar to this. Here, all of your users are split into segments like price sensitive, about to sleep, lost, and so on. Let's take a look at a few of these segments to discuss strategies to engage them. The price sensitive users got an average recency score of 2.7, which is on a scale of 1 to 3. The frequency value was 2.65. And the monetary value was of course 1, because they're very particular about how much they spend on your app or website. So, in order to get these users to purchase more from you, you can share some deals or offers or coupon codes. And you can recommend products that are doing well on your platform. Now, one of the major issues that we all face is user churn. And it's one thing to try and win back your users once they've already churned. But RFM analysis also shows you the users who are about to sleep or about to churn. For these users, you can swoop in just in time and recommend popular products or provide a discount for them to become members. Now let's look at potential loyalists. You can engage these customers with personalized recommendations and try to get them to become insiders. And since these customers are potential loyalists, based on data, they are the most likely to become loyal customers. This method of segmenting your users based on RFM analysis is not new. In fact, it's been used in the retail industry now for decades. Now, with tools like MoEngage Analytics, you can run an RFM analysis on your entire user base with the click of a button. You can also run campaigns for a specific user segment. And if you switch to the user transition section, you can see how the campaigns are moving users from less valuable segments to more valuable ones without analyzing spreadsheets or writing a single line of code. If you'd like to learn more about how predictive segments based on RFM analysis works in MoEngage, I'll leave a link in the description for you. And to stay updated with these videos, click on the subscribe button below. I'll see you next time. Bye.